are I'm gonna be real with y'all. I really don't like coming to Walmart just because of like all the weird people I can run into in here, but it's cheap and it's the only place I know where I can get cheap stuff for Halloween, so here I go. Oh, and usually the employees, they're also in a grumpy mood. That's why I don't like coming here. Frankly speaking, I really don't like coming here because of like, just I really don't like coming here, but whatever. It's cheap, it's affordable, and I need stuff for Halloween. All right, let's see what they got in the Halloween section here. See if you do this late, like even a week before Halloween, like almost everything's gonna be sold out. So do everything early. All the costumes are all sold out. Gonna decorate my room with lights. See, only 350. Not too bad. All right, let's just grab like two of these. I think that should be enough for my room. I have no idea what that is. I'm, no idea what that is. Yeah, look how expensive all this candy is. $21.97? Man, screw you little kids. I'm not gonna get you candy at all this year. What is this? Hot chocolate bombs? Oh, so if you put in the hot chocolate, so this turns into the hot chocolate. I might actually get that. How much is that? $2.68. This one even comes with a book. All right. <laughs> oh my god. All right, I'll take this one. All right, sweet. Everything's cheap now. Found the perfect one. Good size, good color. All right, so this will be the first time I'm carving my very own pumpkin for Halloween. And hopefully I do this correctly. Okay, based on the instructions that came with the packet, it says to carve an opening from the bottom of your pumpkin. But to me, that doesn't make any sense because I could just carve from the top and just pull out the guts from the top. And because I, I still got to put the candle in. So, you know, if I carve it out from the bottom, well, how, how would I put the candle in? See, some of these directions don't make any sense. So I'm going to carve from the top. All right, here we go. I'm about to perform the surgery on this thing. So let's hope I do this correctly because I've never done this before. So... Apparently I'm supposed to put the incision right here. All right. Oh, okay, there we go. There we go. Just do it like that. Okay. Woo, this is a workout. Shit. Okay. Let's turn that sucker. Man, I feel like a surgeon right now. I really feel like I'm about to open a person's head. Okay, so. I made the incision. I just gotta pull this, right? That's, oh, mother frick, motherfucker. Okay, come on. Oh, gosh. All right, I am going in for the kill. Oh my gosh, okay. I feel like I'm literally taking out someone's brain right now. Woo, man, no wonder surgeons and doctors get paid so much money. Damn. Okay, you know what? Work smarter, not harder, right? Okay, there we go. Okay, all the seeds coming out. Okay, that made my job a little easier. Okay. All right, time to use my hands. Oh, look at that. Look at all that brain guts. Oh gosh, I feel like I'm killing an animal. Okay, man, that was tiring. So, after nearly 30 minutes of scooping out the insides, the surgery on the pumpkin, is a success. Let's look at the inside right here. It's not like perfect, but whatever. I got at least 90% of the insides taken out, but I scooped out almost all the brain of the pumpkin, so it is a success. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna take a little break. That was really tiring, honestly. Okay, got one eye done. Got like seven more holes to go. Are you guys ready for this? Here you go. Boom. I am finally done carving this thing. I'm not gonna lie, this took way longer than I thought it would and I am just exhausted from carving this pumpkin, but it's finally done. Can't wait to put it outside, put a candle inside it and just see what it looks like at nighttime when it's glowing. So considering this is the first time 
that I've carved a pumpkin all by myself. I'm pretty proud of the way it came out, but man, this is the last time I'm carving a pumpkin ever again. Man, I'm just done. But All right, so let's see what this looks like in the dark, shall we? That is badass. I mean, again, it's set up in a really simple way, but this is the first time I've decorated my room for Halloween, so this is really cool. It just fits the theme perfectly. Now I just need a scary movie, some candy, and we're good to go. And because I'm ghetto like that, I have to use a tong just to put this candle in the pumpkin. Voila! Happy Halloween, bitches! What's up, guys? So right now, I am in the comfort and safety of my own room. I'm not going to be handing out any candy to any children tonight. I finished carving my pumpkin. I set up the lights in my room. I'm just done with Halloween this year, so I'm just going to finish the night by watching Netflix. I'm going to be watching The Fall of the House of Usher. It's a great show, by the way watch that show it's a great show i might even be watching that nightmare before christmas because technically that's a halloween movie and i've actually never seen that movie i know i love movies but i've never seen a nightmare before christmas so i'm gonna be watching that movie and i got a little special treat for myself a caramel apple i'm gonna be treating myself tonight 